Police say the exact same thing happened around this same time last year, Thanksgiving week. A string of shootings, not necessarily connected, but gun violence that caused injury and worse. The holidays, stress, COVID, everything, it's... It's a, it's a melting pot right now. A homicide Monday night where police say cousins got into an argument over a woman inside this home on North Caroline Street. 39-year-old James Williams allegedly shot the victim in the head, killing him, then took off. Williams is still being sought. Anytime you have a loss of life over basic foolishness, uh, it just shouldn't happen. I think the law-abiding residents of our city deserve better. Just after midnight Saturday, three people were shot and wounded in an argument with a friend over a parking space on South Martin Luther King Boulevard. The suspect in custody. Saturday afternoon, police say Chad Givens was shot and killed after an argument on Mary McLeod Bethune Boulevard. The suspect fled in a vehicle, but there has been a development. That vehicle's been located this morning, so we're working on search warrants and who was in that vehicle. Then late Saturday afternoon, two people were wounded in a drive-by shooting on Mason Avenue, though the victims are not cooperating. The police chief is more than disturbed by it all and is working to put a stop to it. We're going to be out all throughout this holiday season. So we got plans in place um, to target specific areas where we see this increase in violence. In this most recent shooting, police believe the suspect is hiding out locally. So they're asking anyone with information on James Williams to step forward. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News. Police say they cannot do the job without the community's help. Crime Stoppers is always an option if people want to remain anonymous.